Hi, hi there, hello, how are you? I hope you're having an absolutely amazing, phenomenal day so far. Welcome to the Elevated Home. My name is Chrissy Harless, and today we have an Amazon Kitchen Haul. So I think I've got 14 highly rated, viral Amazon Kitchen items. A few boxes absolutely stuffed. Some of the things that I've already owned, I do have some feedback on. Um, most of the things are kind of new to me, but all of these things are like viral Amazon goodies, very highly rated, four plus stars. But I have been bitten by a four plus star review and things that have gone viral and then you get them and they kind of suck. Um, okay, so what should we start with? Maybe another thing that I think is maybe a little more highly rated than it should be. This is the OXO Good Crips Salad Spinner. I've never owned a salad spinner before, but my perception of a salad spinner was that you would put all the greens in here, it would wash and dry your salad. No. <laughs> this was $30 on Amazon, the number one bestseller in salad spinners. If you are looking, I didn't know that there was a whole market for salad spinners or a whole category. Um, but if you're looking for one, I guess this is the one to get. Where the heck am I going to store this thing? It is big. And it only has the one purpose of drying your greens. I guess if you were to eat a lot of lettuce. This could potentially be worth it, but let's give it a try. Here's why I think it could be helpful. It's because we usually get this living lettuce, which legit still has dirt in the container. So usually whatever we pull off of this is still dirty. So you're supposed to use the colander to rinse. Put it back in there. Put the lid on. It does feel very nice quality. Very, um, everything feels like very thick plastic. Um, and then spin. Kind of fun. And then this part right here is a break. This is still wet. I still don't want to eat this. I don't like wet lettuce on my burgers and I don't like wet lettuce in my salad. It did get a lot of water off. Maybe just one more time. I can't get the rhythm. There's there's a rhythm that you have to have with it, and I'm not I'm not getting the CPR rhythm. Any more water? A little bit more water came off. I still yet do not consider this to be dry. It's still like soaked. It still feels like it's soaking wet. I don't, this is dumb. <laughs> this is a waste of, of $30 of space, of time, of energy. Not, now this is like another thing that needs to be cleaned and another thing that needs to be stored. Not off to a great start, but I have a feeling that we can turn it around. The next two things actually go together, but they are sold separately. It is one of those brown sugar containers, but I've heard excellent things about this one specifically. It's another OXO Good Grips thing. The reviews on this, also excellent. I have a little bit more confidence in this. You're supposed to push down to take the lid off. That was incredibly easy. When you push down, it's supposed to create like a vacuum seal type pressure to keep it airtight to keep your brown sugar lasting longer. This is what we're currently using. This one just wasn't very airtight. The, the brown sugar never lasted in it, so we'd keep it in its bag, rolled up in its container. The other thing that goes along with this is that little brown sugar saver. It's made of like a terracotta or another type of clay, and you soak it for a few minutes, up to I think 15 minutes, and you push it into the top lid here. Easy to get on and off. Yeah, very easy to get on and off. Doesn't seem like it would fall off. No. And this is the thing that's supposed to keep your brown sugar from hardening up and like clumping all up together. I've never had one of these before. I use it in my weed all the time. That's how you keep your, your herb at a correct humidity level. So why is it taking this long? To keep fresh brown sugar soft or to soften hardened brown sugar, soak the disc in water for 15 minutes, pat it dry, then secure it to the underside of the lid. All right, let's get that started. We'll get into something else while it's soaking. Set a timer for 15 minutes. I'll just soak it in here. 15, 39. Does say that this is dishwasher safe. I still wouldn't put it in the dishwasher. It makes plastic not look great ever again. Dishwasher detergents, it's just like so abrasive. Next up is something that we always have in our kitchen. We have repurchased these so many, so many times and it's these black disposable gloves. My husband has a thing about touching meat. Sometimes I have like nails on. I don't want to get a whole bunch of stuff in, in the nails. I also don't want to get a nail to pop off in our food. A lot of the clear ones that you can get or the blue ones that you can get on Amazon right now are like the deli gloves, which don't fit at all. They're just gigantic on your hands or they're size medium. These ones come in a size large. I don't know what it is about the black too. I just, I really like. <laughs> they are also chemical resistant. They're extra thick. You can use them for cleaning. You can use them in the kitchen. You can use them in the laundry room. You can use them anywhere you want. Next, if you are a coffee lover, a tea lover, an aesthetic cup lover at all, then you're going to fall in love 
with these. These have definitely popped off, I've gone viral. They're called Jizeni Vintage Coffee Father's Day Gifts. These came in a bunch of colors, honestly it was so hard for me to pick out which one I wanted because I really wanted the pink ones, but then the pink isn't really, it doesn't really go with the aesthetic in the kitchen here, but then there were these iridescent ones. The iridescence is really popping off. The ones that I got are these amber iridescent. These does have a little bit of iridescence and they're both different. So this one came with that dotted circle, like dotted and dashed design, and then this one is straight up dots all the way around. These are meant to be coffee cups, but they're glass. So you could like literally use them however you want. They're freaking gorgeous though. Do they stack? They actually stack very nicely and they did also come with these little spoons which I was dying. When I saw these little spoons I was so excited. I wanted a silly little dainty like gold coffee spoon. It's not gold. It's probably brass. Look at how cute that is. Want to make a coffee? Let's do that. Oh, it's so cute. Somebody's gonna yell at me for mixing that shot together. This spoon is giving me life right now, way more than it should. This cup looks gorgeous. It holds the perfect sized cup of coffee. I didn't measure anything. You know when you hold something and you just kind of feel a little extra fancy. Um, like when I got my very first Dior lipstick and I held that bitch everywhere so everybody thought that I was fancy. This is like that. This is giving me Dior lipstick type vibes. The handle is not the most comfortable to hold. I think if you were walking around the office and holding it you would probably get fatigued. But for the normal person that would likely just put it down, this would be great. I also don't think that it would keep your coffee warm for very long. So you better start chugging. It doesn't seem insulated in any way and glass is okay at keeping it warm, but it's so open and wide that this is definitely gonna cool down faster than you expect. Let's take the temperature of it. This is a digital thermometer. Everybody should have one of these. If you don't, then now is the time to get it. You're supposed to temp your meat so you don't accidentally poison yourself. I like to temp my kids hot chocolate or warm milk. I know that 110 to 112 degrees is perfection for them. And this is actually a thermometer that we have repurchased. So we have the old model of this and it wasn't waterproof and it eventually died. We had it for three years, but eventually died from being accidentally tossed into the sink one too many times. And this one is actually waterproof. You can hang it by this hole. It also has the magnet. So we just stick it to the side of, oh, you can't even see the magnets. The old one, you could see the magnets. You can stick it to the side of your stove, the side of your grill, because it is waterproof. You probably could keep it outside. It also has all the meat temperature, you know, on the side. As a just quick reference, it does Celsius and Fahrenheit. It does all those things. It has a little backlight if you need it, like out in the dark. Um, my coffee, I would prefer to be a little bit closer to 130, but it is a dismal 106 degrees right now. I think my coffee frother, my milk frother, is actually going out because I've realized my coffee has been kind of cold-ish the last few days. I need a new one. Brown sugar timer went off, so let's get back to that. It's time to get this little terracotta puck out of here. It says to pat dry. This is acceptable. It's just a different color, but you don't see any actual wetness. Oh, look, it held like water in there. Hold on. I don't like that. Maybe you're supposed to just take this off and soak it. Now, my brown sugar is actually better than I expected. I thought it was going to be a hard lump. But if it was super hard, this is supposed to revive it as well and just keep it soft. So far, I like it. For this next one, we need some boiling water. I have been looking for the perfect measuring cup and I feel like I found it. This is the Newness glass measuring cup and it comes in a whole bunch of different sizes. And what really got me about this was not only the looks, but also the functionality is way better than any of the other measuring cups that I've ever used that I hope, I hope that it's way better. This is my current measuring cup. It is plastic. It's had hot water put into it too many times. It's split on the bottom. Now I can no longer hold liquids. The handle falls off. It's not really dishwasher friendly. It is. You can put it in the dishwasher, but that also contributed to this looking like garbage. And then I bought these only a couple years ago, maybe two or three years ago, and it was a set of three, and this is the only one to still survive, but it's barely, it's barely hanging on. So I wanted to go back to glass. It came packaged really well. It's got like protection all around it, but it looks like 
get this. This is a beaker styled measuring cup. It's got an awesome large handle. This is very comfortable. Like look at that. This is incredibly comfortable to hold. This one goes up to four cups. They had a whole bunch of different ones. I wanted to get the two cup and the four cup, but I wanted to make sure that I really liked it first before springing for the two cup. It's got cups, ounces, and also cc's. It feels very scientific. This is such a nice handle. It does feel kind of thin. Was this tempered or borosilicate? Let me check. It says it's borosilicate, which means it is a stronger glass and it is going to be heat resistant. So I have no qualms whatsoever about putting some boiling water straight into this. Let's try it. Everything in my house is dusty from the construction. I can't help it right now. Ding. Obviously the side of the cup is very hot because of the boiling liquid and it being glass, but it has not, it didn't crack. I was thinking that it shouldn't. Um, the handle is very comfortable and I don't feel any heat, probably because it's so far away and then pouring it. Let's pour it back in. Oh, I like that pour. I thought for a second I was gonna hate it. I thought it was gonna be a sloppy pour, but that's nice. Oh my God, should we try to shock it? Should we put some cold water in it? Let's try it. All right, cold water. I would say it passes the test. I'm definitely going to get the two cup one. Next up is something that I believe every household already owns and I'm just really incredibly late to the scene and that would be a scrub daddy or more specifically a scrub mommy. But I'm excited to get one. I've always been afraid to get it because I thought that it would scratch it the heck out of just literally everything. Everybody knows about it. I don't need to explain it. I do want to get that little sink attachment though. I didn't even think about it when I placed the order for this. It's a little sink attachment that attaches straight to like that has little pegs for the eyes and the mouth and that way I could just have it hanging on the inside part of the sink where you couldn't see it. I know I'm not the only one that is just, just now getting into Scrub Daddies. Their marketing is genius. Their YouTube shorts are hilariously inappropriate. Let's jump into something that I already have that I use that I do love, but there is something about it that I don't love. And that's the viral strainer that hooks onto your pots. You can probably see why I don't particularly love love it. It doesn't look very clean when you put it in the dishwasher. When you take it out, you have like the dishwasher hard scale type. This is clean. When you hand wash it, it doesn't do this. I'm too busy to be hand washing a bunch of stuff. So I am a little bit disappointed in that. However, I have been using this now for months and I was terrified that when I dumped the noodles out or if I dumped them out aggressively that everything was just going to dump into my sink. Listen, every single time I'm grabbing a pot, I use this thing. I am shocked that it doesn't fall right off. Let me show you. It's super easy. You attach to the pot and pour and these little um, pieces where it attaches to your pot are covered in silicone so it won't scratch like the ceramic you can't use metal on these are still fine so you just pinch it on there and it contours to basically every single pot that I have and you can see that there's a seal it hooks on so tightly that you can pick up a heavy pot and the thing doesn't come off so I have not not one time no matter what I've cooked any type of noodle even like ravioli and stuff dumped it and had this thing fall off. Next up is the thing that's going to um, solve all of my kitchen problems for me. It's the bane of my existence for some reason. I just have, I go through measuring spoons. I've tried so many different measuring spoons and I don't like any of them. And the biggest problem with them is that they're round and they don't fit into the jars very well. So I found this little set to replace all of my measuring spoons. It has so many different measurements and a leveler. How gorgeous is this set too? This like brass. Oh my God, obviously I've been obsessed. The leveler even has measurements on it. I'm not sure why. Maybe if you were like cutting pie crust or something like that. They're magnetic so they all just stick together and hang out together. There's no like cluster of a mess just hanging out in your drawer. They all give you the measurement. They have a narrower one that fits into the spice bottles and then they also have this circular. I'm probably not even gonna use this end. This is the end that I really bought them for and the color and the price and the fact that they all magnet together and that there are so many different measurements. So there's a lot of reasons why I wanted these. Stoked to have them now. We have one eighth teaspoon, one fourth teaspoon, one half teaspoon, three fourths teaspoon, one teaspoon, one half tablespoon, and one tablespoon. There was another set that came with, I think, two or three more measurements, but I didn't find them to be necessary in my cooking and I didn't need them to add extra clutter to my house. This is my narrowest spice container. This is the largest of the scoopers. I actually don't think that that's gonna fit in there. The one tablespoon does not fit in my narrowest spice container, but let's check the half tablespoon. The half tablespoon does. I'll just have to use two of those, whatever. Excited for this leveler too. I think that this is, this is so much fun. This feels like a pro kitchen tool. 
that I've never had. This feels legit now. The flat base allows the spoons to rest on the counter without spilling the contents. Oh, I didn't even realize every single one of them, kind of like a spoon pipe, is slightly flattened on the bottom so that when you set it down, it doesn't roll away. Didn't even notice. How smart. You know when you pack your lunch, you need a little bit of ranch, maybe ketchup, pizza sauce, salad dressing, and there's never a good container to put it in, and sometimes you just take the entire container and you put it in your lunchbox. Well, I think that I found the absolute perfect solution. It is this little pack of salad dressing containers, and they are so damn cute. They came in so many different color options. You get a six pack. They're made of stainless steel. They're 1.6 ounces. So you get a decent amount. That's enough. Definitely for lunch. I can see filling this up with ketchup or some kind of sauce on the side. Maybe you don't want it on your plate. Maybe you have an aversion to ketchup touching the things on your plate. Putting it in a little cup like this. Perfect. They are dishwasher safe. Let's see if they are in fact spill proof. They seem like they would be because this seal, it kind of like it wraps around it. Got some water in there. Let's close it up. It's not hard to do. Um, even if I, on the side, ooh, I'm squeezing it. Nothing is coming out. You can't break them. They're useful for kids, for adults, for lunches, for at home. This is a win. This is probably my favorite thing that I bought. We are on a roll. I'm so glad that we started off with the salad spinner. It was like a disappointment from the start. It's gone all uphill from them. These last three things are kid related. Um, also, I guess adults could definitely use them, but they are geared towards children. First up, I feel like this is something that every single kid wants, and that's their own practice chopsticks. And this one is so cute. It comes from that Fred, genuine Fred. I've got a couple really cute things from the brand. It's very geared towards like kids aesthetic and it's fun and how cute is it that the toucan's mouth opens up when you pinch them because they work any way that you hold them I don't think it's actually teaching kids how to use chopsticks at all but it does seem to be beneficial as far as fine motor skills go and it tends to make mealtime more fun it does take a little bit longer to eat but at least they're actually eating their food another thing that I got for my kids that I'm super excited about I know I'm gonna have to buy so many more of these because we usually have more kids at our house during the summer but I wanted to give them a test out first and they're so aesthetically cute too these are a little popsicle stands and not only holds your popsicle it keeps it from melting all over the place but then it also has this little straw so whatever has melted you can slurp up you could probably also just go like this if you didn't have a straw but I love that idea so I feel like we should melt the popsicle in here and give it a test I don't see any way for liquid to escape this cup like it's one solid piece not two pieces put together Oh, it slides right down in there it doesn't I mean I guess it goes down far enough actually there's two different sticks stick sides so i think this one would be more secure on that side because it's a little floppy yeah now it's not it's not all floppy anymore that's nice it works as a popsicle stick holder let's melt it though for this experiment we have a hair dryer and we're going to melt it rapidly i would say theoretically eating a normal popsicle you probably wouldn't get more than that amount of liquid so let's try this first the hole you do need to kind of tip it towards the straw it works. <laughs> this popsicle is taking forever to melt. I think we get the point. It holds a whole lot of liquid, probably an entire popsicle's worth of liquid. Love it. Pulling the popsicle stick back out though is actually pretty challenging. Ugh. It's in there pretty tight. Um, liquid did get down in there. You definitely need to wash this, wash it good. I'd probably soak it and not even put it in because you can see where it's like coming out when I squish it. I probably won't even put it in the dishwasher. I would use a straw brush to get all up in there. And then the last thing that I have to show you is definitely spring relevant. It's definitely geared towards the Easter holiday. That is the egg amazing egg coloring kit. This does not include any dyes. It does include its own markers. We got this last year and it was egg amazing. Definitely let the egg sit in here for a little bit to dry before you pick it up because that did get pretty messy. Our fingers were like black by the end of it with how much marker was on them. And when you're all done with one egg, you're going to want to clean the wheels because it will stain the next egg. Even with those things being said, my kids loved this. I didn't feel like I had to hover. The colors and their creativity came out a lot more with this rather than those die kits. You can pick it up in store too. You don't have to only get that on Amazon. I saw them. I swear I saw these at Target. I believe they're also at Walmart. It is kind of expensive for what it is, but then every year you don't need to go out and get the little die kit. I have two boxes downstairs, but they didn't touch them last year and I'm kind of hoping that they don't touch them again this year because it's just, it's so stressful. <laughs> 
you have little kids and you have wobbly eggs and you have food coloring dye everywhere and it's just it's like it's such a recipe for disaster this thing it just it's nice okay so then that rounds out the list that's everything new and viral from Amazon for the kitchen I will have links for everything down below I do want to give a huge shout out to all my patrons for making videos like this possible please consider hitting subscribe before you leave I do have Amazon springtime for the patio coming up in probably about two weeks basically everything from my patio is from Amazon okay so that's it that's everything that I have for you all today thank you again so much for being here I truly 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 do appreciate it enough talking I will keep you here all day love you so much get out of here I'll see you next time bye